A good quality repro of the hexagonal Whitworth rifle was missing from the market for a long, long time now. The iconic Civil War sniper rifle is here again for the lovers of the long-range muzzle-loading shooting. So whether you are a reenactor of the Confederate sniper or target shooter, I'm sure you will enjoy this video. The polygonal rifling is a bit tricky to find the bullet for, but once you have your load, you will be good up to 600 yards to hit the bullseye. The Parker Hill and Eurams repros disappeared with their manufacturers, so many of us were waiting for a company to give us a faithful repro. Until now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that the new Pedersoli Whitworth rifle is here for a trial, finally. And look how nice it is. The stock is American oiled walnut, and this is a standard stock, so this is actually how you receive the rifle. The grip is checkered, the forend is checkered. We have brass butt plate, we have a brass trigger guard, and we have case-hardened metal bands holding the 39-inch barrel, which is a hexagonal rifle barrel, so just like the original Whitworth rifles. The twist rate is one turn in 20 inches and the caliber is 451, so you have to size your bullet to 451 or to 450. And I have to say that this is a, a hammer forged, a cold forged barrel, not broach rifled or button rifled, so I know that many people really like because of the smooth uh, inner side of the bore. The lock is a standard Enfield style lock and uh, what can I say, we have to try it at the range. I'm going to shoot it for you for 50 and for 100 meter. The hexagonal bullet mods are expensive and hard to find, so I went for the same cylindrical bullet I shoot from my 451 Parker Hill volunteer rifle. I sized my pure lead bullets exactly to the land to land diameter of my bore. These Spitzer bullets weigh just a little bit more than 460 grains. My best charge was 60 grains of 3F Swiss powder. I started the target work to 50 meters. The bullets went directly to the point of aim. And the barrel proved extremely accurate. This is a 50 meter target. I have five shots here. Three in the same hole, one still in the inner ten ring, and all the other shots are in the in the size of the ten ring. So this is excellent. With open sights, perfect. The V notch in the rear sight is quite large, so it is not easy to make a good sight picture on the 50 meter pistol target at 100 meters. So a good aperture sight is recommended for long range shooting. Let's see now what the old lady can do at 100 meters. I wiped the bore after each shot, but I had to pay attention to pushing down the bullet with the same force each time. If I drop the ramrod on the bullet several times after ramming it to place, the bullets hit low. When I avoided hammering the bullet and just pushed it down gently, the group tightened significantly. Yeah, this is the 100 meter target. Please forgive this to me because that was my mistake. I let my shoulder too loose. These were from, from the first shots. 
what I felt is that that uh, it is really important to push the bullet down with the same force because if it is changing then the elevation is changing also so but you can see that the the, the group should be somewhere here it's very hard to position the target uh, with the black with the open sights but you can see that I have four shots within the size of the 10 ring so I think this rifle will be a very good 100 meter shooter for the Witwers even the Witwers rifle good so ladies and gentlemen if you're looking for a good mid-range rifle or 100 meter rifle then the Witwers is your choice you just have to add uh, an aperture rear sight and a new front sight and you're done and it's good for reenacting also you've been watching the Cap and Will YouTube channel and don't forget Stay cool and keep your powder dry.